I didn't know that. A little beta down here. You got a bump on your neck. How long you had it? Uh, 10 years. 10 years. Has it ever drained or leaked? No. Gummy Jean's going to spray a little cold spray. And you're going to feel a little what? Stick sting and burn. There it is. Coming in right now. So this is uh, this is the house phone? Yes. Very good. A little sting. So 10 years, what made you decide to go ahead and get this taken care of? Oh, wow. You won. <laughs> well, that's a good reason. Don't you think, Gummy Jean? Yeah. I think so, too. All right. You can't go wrong if you're doing what your wife tells you to do. That's still out. I think I was getting on Ben's nerve enough last night. He called me Queen. Queen? <laughs> Your Majesty. He called me Queen. Now, what was that all about? Uh, or do you I want just, to share? I just asked him. Now I got to tell a story. Uh oh. I said, hey, babe, can you pass me the remote? Uh oh. Some of the biggest fights in the world. Because I left it by the, the TV, right? Yeah. And I got in the bed. Yeah. So he passed me the remote. And I was like, hey, babe, since, you, since you're going to the kitchen, yeah. can you grab me some water? While you're up. And he goes, you're only one and a half weeks. <laughs> uh oh, and now you're going to have to clarify. Oh, we're having a baby. Congratulations. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. All right. So uh, here we go. If you feel anything sharp, you let me know, okay? Okay. Making the incision. You might feel a little scraping kind of sound. But hopefully it won't be too bad. Are you nervous? Nope. Notice your respiratory rate just increased. Oh, I heard the popping of the skin. Yeah. And a big Okay, Gumby Jean, I'm gonna set this right here. Thank you, ma'am. Let's see what we can find in here. Are you one of those kids that swallowed a lot of chewing gum when you were younger? No. No? Did you ever hear that story that if you, you swallowed it, it would stay in there forever? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Don't you swallow that gum. Yeah. Gumby Jean, check the cam, make sure that we- uh, Yes, you're in. Looks good. Look a little alien coming out, doesn't it? I love to see that. All right, a little squeeze here. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, I knew yeah. that was gonna happen. You knew that was coming out? We got more. Okay, hand that off. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, we just found out Gummy Jean was gonna have a baby. We were seven weeks yesterday. Seven weeks. All right, so we have a little sack here. Let me get a good grip on it. Pull that out. Oh, look at that. Yep. It's got the standard epidermoid cyst, uh, let's call it a fragrance. Uh, whoa. Yeah, there's still, a bunch, there's still a bunch in there. Is that hurting? No. It was like an octopus. It kind of did, didn't it? I can take it, Doc. Get in there. Boxite, you're a good man. You're a good fella. Get in there deep. <laughs> and we're getting it all out. We're going to get that whole sack and everything. Looks like a little egg casing. It does. I like to just gently tug on these and get them to come on out. Sometimes they will. Scissors. Sometimes they won't. I'm not actually cutting right here. I'm spreading. So no comments about dull scissors. Fuck <laughs> yeah, he needs new scissors. He needs new scissors. That popping off is pretty sharp. Well, you know, <laughs> post-apocalyptic <laughs> world. Yeah, we'll do what we have world, to do. yeah. <laughs> pocket knife might just work fine. 
You got the skin in that home that I know it'll work. Oh, we don't want to skin you though. You might feel a little sharp pinch in here. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and just set that down there. You do some deer hunting? Oh, every chance you get. What? Deer sausage? Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. I used to love me some deer well, sausage. Well, next Chicken time you think. Steak. Next time you think about me, you know. Bacon wrap tenderloin. Yeah. Back strap. Oh, you just gonna rev it. Hamburger meat, chili meat. You still love me some sausage. There it all is. Whoa. All right. Oh. You don't like that? Four not a lucky number for you? Oh. He always either do one under me or one over. So. I was just saying because he cut five. your throat. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're looking pretty good here with four. Yeah. We'll see what it looks like. Looks good. I think we're just fine on that. We got that out of there before the uh, anesthesia even completely infiltrated. Did you feel any pain? Nope. Good. Just a little tugging. A little tugging. All right, all you have to do is keep this clean and dry. Okay. A little dry dressing on it. Gumby Jean will put on for you here in just a moment. Okay. We'll take those stitches out for you in a week. If you have any problems, you give me a holler, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Well, thanks for letting us video. Hey, no problem. Hey, folks. You spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta 7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it could actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. Just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great, I love it, and um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description.